She sold this for $520 and picked it up online estate for $11. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money or unexpected BOLO items. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, you guys, if you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I teach about Bolo items. I've got tons of different types of styles of videos to help you learn. So check out another video after this one and be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Also, be sure to go down to the comments, not the comments, down to the description and check out everybody that I'm going to mention in this video. Their YouTube channel, if they have one, will be linked down below as well as their eBay store. Let's get started. All right, the first item comes from Piece of Scrap, and she is a new Bolo Buddies member, you guys. So if you follow all of the YouTubers that I share, please go down and subscribe to her. She's got a lot of what sold videos, and I love how all of her um, thumbnails like look the same, like you know it's hers. I think that's fantastic. So um, 20 years of reselling experience. So she is a Bolo finder. Definitely check her out. She sells on multiple platforms. And we are going to talk about the first item here that she sold. It's a Walt Disney World Spirit Jersey 2XL Disney Parks Red Minnie Mouse shirt. And she got this for $3.75 at the Goodwill and took a best offer of $99.92 plus shipping. She does a lot of clothing and you guys don't get that from my channel. So if you want to learn more about clothing, definitely check her out. Cause I know a lot of you guys, um, you sell clothing and hard goods and I feel bad that I don't give you a lot of clothing. So I'm really excited to have, um, a clothing reseller joining us. Uh, she got this Ralph Lauren jacket at the Goodwill for $7 and 50 cents and took a best offer of $99 on this. It is a packable jacket and it is stunning. Check that out. And let me see. Right there's the inner tag. It definitely looks like it's never been worn. It's incredible. Wow. All right. Let's look at the next item here. These are Rocky's Rocky Mountain denim jeans. These are, um, I think they're a junior size, 11, 12. Would that be juniors? Or um, just maybe a vintage size? I'm not sure, but weight, mom waist. <laughs> Look how cool they are. They're super cool. Look at the back. Oh my goodness. Would you rock these? Let me know if you would rock these Rockies. Um, it's getting late here. It's getting late here. It's almost uh, it's almost midnight and I'm talking about rocking Rockies here. Okay. Um, yeah. They kind of remind me of Jordash, but not. She got these at the Goodwill for $4.50. Took a best offer of $74.92 plus shipping. Amazing steals and deals. This is Christopher I by Chit, C-H-I-T on YouTube. And if you guys um, are over at Donatella Bottolino and auction for you, you guys see him in the chat and we always have a good time chatting him up. He's also over at Rachel Strickland's a lot. He is a big supporter of the reseller community. So if you're on YouTube and you go to live shows, you will see him in the chat. And he is a mega bolo finder. So this is his store. It will be linked down in the description. But let me show you some of his amazing bolos. That's not what I want to show you. Here we go. It's this uh, Kellogg Rotary Dial Candlestick Phone. And he's great with keywords. He's super knowledgeable. He got this at, um, I don't know where he got it. He didn't say sold it for uh, bought it for $20 and sold it for full price of 275 plus shipping. I'm guessing he got it in an estate sale. This next item came from an estate sale. He paid $15 for the whole lot and sold it for $120. This is really cool. Um, it's got all these little pins. I mean, he is just a bolo finder. It's vintage USS Ranger CVA 61 lot of picks, pins, patches, etc. from an estate. 
This item he purchased from Donatella Bottolino's auction, her YouTube auction, and he bought a whole bunch of wrestlers. He said he bought 50 wrestlers for $70, so about $1.50 a piece. And this one sold for $95. So he made his money back on one item. And he did do free shipping on that. So I think he's kind of like a big guy there. That's interesting. <laughs> Look at his face. Ah! All right. The next item comes from the Cha-Ching King. And his channel is just taken off. Um, super, super good editing skills. You guys will really like his channel. And he's super knowledgeable. He does a lot of uh, videos for beginners. So if you're newer, definitely check out um, his like eBay step-by-step -step, listing your first item on eBay. Um, these videos are doing really well for him, which... To me, I find incredible because so many people have done these types of videos, but his are hitting the algorithm. I don't know why, probably because they're so good, but this one has 103,000 views, 33,000 views, 24,000 views. And these are all videos that are for new resellers. So he's really good at teaching. So check those out. Okay. Okay. All right, but he's also a bolo finder. So let's see what he sold. He sold these vintage Anna Lee, Mr. and Mrs. Claus dolls from 2004. He picked up a big lot of Anna Lee dolls. He paid for them. He got home. He realized how much they were worth and he went back and gave the person more money. Um, his cost of goods was approximately a dollar each for these. And he took a best offer of 200 plus shipping. The next item is this Tory Birch rib knit turtleneck top. It's new with tags. He got this at um, a church sale. He did pay up for it. He paid $25 for it, but he sold it for $125.99 plus shipping. These are North and Judd spurs and leather straps. Anchor marked riding pair iron, two and a half inch. He got these for $2 at a private pick. They sold in one day for $107.99 plus shipping. The next item here, I love this. It's a vintage puppet show wood theater stage miniature handmade folk art pull toy. Look, you pull on the side there and they move. How fun is that? Like, who else wants to see a video? Like, I totally want to see a video. Let's see. No video. Come on, Scott. Where's our video? We want to see how this works. Anyway, he got this at a private pickup for $5 and sold it for $79.99. AEG's -E Estate Treasures. I really struggle with that one. They do estate cleanouts and they always have really cool items in their store. And I know she's talking about doing um, reseller lots. I don't know if she's going to put them on wholesale or if she's going to put them over here on eBay. If you're not on wholesale, um, wholesale is a great place to get reseller lots. Um, I do have a referral link down in the description. I have bought from wholesale. I do have a video um, of a lot that I purchased. If you guys want to check that out, I unbox it. I show you how I listed everything. Um, I actually bought the lot from the rebel reseller who posted it on wholesale. And if you're not following her, she has an awesome channel also. Um, I don't think I mentioned yet. Um, if you want to follow an eBay store, you can hit save seller and that will let you know when they post new items or if they send out a coupon, um, to their followers, stuff like that. So it's always a good idea. If you find a store that you like, definitely hit that so you can follow them, okay? Let's see what they sold. Oh, if you join wholesale with that link down below, you'll get a $10 uh, credit. So you can use that to shop, okay? AEG's Estate Treasures. All right, that's where we're at now. This is a Metro Metropolitan Museum of Art Angel, and it's a pewter ornament, Check it out. And she got this for 35 cents at an estate. I think probably a clean out. And she sold it for best offer of $40. The next item is this Harry Potter wall and desk calendars from 2002 and 2003 and stickers. And these are all sealed. So even though they are past dates, they're pretty much um, vintage, really, the 2002 almost 2003 or vintage. She got these at an estate sale for $4 and sold them for $54 plus shipping. This is a little Beetlejuice uh, action figure. And I'm surprised this didn't go for more because it's from 1989 and it's by Kenner. 
But it went for $19.99 and she paid $1.95 for this. This one right here, she never got back to me on this. So I don't know what she ended up selling it for, but I was just totally intrigued by it because it's damaged. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love to sell items that are damaged. Not that I love to sell them, but I like to take the risk and see if I can do it. Um, I actually just sold a Jim Shore nativity piece. And I was like, I found it at the Goodwill Benz. And it was a part of the hashtag Benz Bingo Challenge. And I was like, should I get this or should I leave it behind? And I found three others that were intact. Uh, no issues. And I was like, you know what? I just think somebody's going to buy it. His hand was um, split off and there was another little crack in his sleeve. You guys, it sold super fast. So don't be afraid to sell those broken items. But anyway, this is a vintage advertising Cosmopolitan Buddy Lee ball. And he's got this little cameo pin on his shirt. How cool is that? So I don't know what she ended up selling it for, but it sold whether it sold for $10 or 70, I have no idea, but it sold. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm sorry, I don't know the, the sold price. Um, all about reselling. In the life of a reseller, this is Josie and this is her YouTube channel. And you can definitely go and sub her up to see what she's talking about. Um, only one sale on eBay, but it's my own fault. So she kind of just chit chats and gets a, uh, serious with you and tells you about life and things going on. So check her out. She has sold this um, over on Etsy. It's a leather craft, make your own leather vest kit complete. And she got this at a thrift store for $1.50 and sold it for $25 plus shipping. She's also over on Poshmark as J underscore grounds. And she sold these new old stock 1976 Fonzie nylon knee high or yeah, knee highs. They don't look like knee highs, do they? Huh? That's funny. Paramount pictures. She got three for a dollar at a yard sale and these sold for $35 on Poshmark. The next item is this vintage 1989 players edition, Tripoli, everything included original box. She sold this on Poshmark for $35 plus shipping. And I always tell you guys that games are a great thing to put on Poshmark because um, they're pretty expensive to ship on eBay. And Poshmark has that flat rate shipping of $7.67 if it's five pounds or less. And there are dimensions that you have to watch for, but most games are pretty good. So uh, definitely something to keep in mind. If you're not on Poshmark and Mercari, I do have referral links down below. For Poshmark, you get $10 if you use my link to join. Um, and then on Mercari, you get $10 when you join and then another $20 to shop when you uh, sell $100 worth of stuff. And I recommend both Poshmark and Mercari. I sell on both platforms. Dare to Dream Big 1313. This is her store. Lots of cool items. She's got lots of toys. I love toys. Um, Christmas items. I also love selling Christmas items. Definitely check out her store. And she sold this Russ Home Buddies Sniffy Striped Mouse Beanbag Plush. And she got this at... The Goodwill Bins, so she has about 20 cents in it. And she did sell it for a best offer of 30 in one week. She probably could have held out for full asking for sure. Maybe even closer to $50 on this. This is definitely a nice little um, a nice little item to pick up if you find it. His name's Sniffy. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. So be on the lookout for Russ Home Buddies. I love this one. This is a Russ Love Pets Puddles Beanie Plush Puppy Dog. Look at the cuteness. And he's got a little bit of matting. Like you can tell he's like, he's been loved. Look at his tag. Look at his tag. He has been well loved, that one. Puppy Dog, estate sale, 50 cents, sold in one week for $42. Someone was looking for it. The next item is this uh, Westmoreland red milk glass mini hen or nest covered dish. And you guys, this is a little one. It's only about three inches. So it's tiny. Uh, yard sale, 25 cents and sold it for $42.55 on Etsy. 
the bulldog shop look how cute this little banner is oh my goodness it's got the little stockings it's got the bulldog how awesome is that and she has a great store also so definitely uh check out her store everybody's getting their christmas items up i love it all right precious moments she said she always looks for precious moments because sometimes they go for big money and she is not wrong on that she got these at an online estate for $7, sold them for 120 plus shipping. The next item. All right. She picked up all of these PC gamer magazines, 200 plus on an online estate. She paid $11 for all of them. This one set right here sold for 120 bucks. So you can see when she's got the complete set of 12 issues for the year. These are vintage, harder to find. 120, 110. Now here she's got 32 issues from 2000 to 2003, $84. So you can just kind of see how she lauded these. But look at all this money she has made on these PC gamer magazines, $11 investment. And she still has some listed. Handmade Nantucket light ship basket purse signed. Joe Gaddy, 2006. Oh my goodness. Online estate again. She said she saw it in the pictures and she went to Worth Point and she looked it up. You guys, if you're not using Worth Point, it is so worth it. Um, I held off getting Worth Point because it's expensive, but it will make you so much money. I do have a referral link down below, but I also have videos on my channel that show you how I have used Worth Point to make more money because I like to show you guys how I use the services that I use that I recommend because I'm actually using them. <laughs> so, um, but that referral link's down below if you guys want to check that out. I do not use the one for the marks. Um, if you guys do like pottery or jewelry, stuff like that, you may be interested in that. I really just use it to comp out solds. So she sold this for $520 and picked it up online estate for $11. This next one is a vintage Stephen Lalioff. Lalioff painted leather fire bucket early american reproduction she said it was her mom's so it's free and she took a best offer of 625 dollars on this and this is what it looks like that is incredible right 625 dollars vichy's treasures this is her ebay store no youtube channel link down below and she is like a jadeite fire king seller. I'll tell you what, she picked up a ton of that stuff. All right, she sold this Peter Millar Crown Sport President Cup uh, sweater. It's a cashmere blend sweater. She got this at a thrift store for five bucks, took a best offer of $88. This is a limited edition glass eye studio tropical fish aquarium paperweight from 1997. Look how cool that is. Isn't that awesome? I love it. She got this at a consignment shop for $9 and took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. The next item is this 2008 Department 56 Dickens Village Series Barton's Holiday Greens. Um, she got this at the Goodwill for $5.99 and sold it for $49.50 plus shipping. Lola's Trunk Treasures. This is her store. Again, lots of Christmas items. You got to love that. Lots of plush, really great store. So you can check her out down below. And let's see what she sold. She sold this, um, the best of Teresa Wensler fantasy collection cross stitch pattern book. And she got this at the Goodwill for $2 and sold it for $67 and 49 cents plus shipping. The next item are these Vogue patterns. And right now she's got buy one, get one 20% off with code treasure 25. So if you go down to her store, which is linked down below, Lola's Trunk Treasures, um, she's running that sale right now. These Vogue patterns she got at an estate sale, I believe, for 25 cents each. 20, 20 of them for 25 cents each. This one sold for 30, best offer. This one sold for 40 best offer. So some patterns can still be a bolo for sure. This is an heirloom kit. And this one actually looks like this on the inside. And it's sewing machine feet. 
And she got these at the Goodwill for $5 each. She sold this one for $90 plus shipping. And she sold this one for $50. A bet, no, nope, I'm sorry. $53.99 for this one. And it's a hoop. An embroidery hoop, it says. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. Uh, so $53.99, $5 from the Goodwill. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you would like to join memberships to be featured in a video like this, there is a join button down below. And if you don't see the join button, there's a link. Level two gets you in this video. No pressure to join. My channel is completely free. Memberships is just if you want to share a bolo and have me feature it in a video like this. And I, again, will link everybody down below so you guys can go and follow them. Thank you so much. And leave me an emoji of a hat. Thanks for watching or just write hat or hoot, whatever. Leave me a comment.